Unraveling English. Tackling pronunciation challenges for Hebrew speakers. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to delve into the world of pronunciation challenges that Hebrew speakers often encounter when learning English. In particular, we'll be focusing on two key areas, stress patterns and guttural consonants. These are unique aspects of Hebrew that can sometimes lead to difficulties when making the transition to English. But don't worry, we're here to help you navigate these challenges and enhance your English pronunciation skills. First, let's talk about stress patterns. In English, words have a specific rhythm, created by the alternation of stressed and unstressed syllables. This contrasts with Hebrew, where stress tends to fall on the final syllable. English, on the other hand, can place stress anywhere in the word. For instance, in the word photograph, the stress is on the first syllable, while in photographer, the stress moves to the second syllable. So, as a Hebrew speaker, you need to be aware of this when you're learning new English words. Listen carefully to native English speakers and try to imitate the rhythm of their speech. Practicing with audio materials can also be very beneficial. Our next area of focus is guttural consonants. In Hebrew, there are numerous guttural sounds produced in the back of the throat, such as the het and ayin. But in English, these sounds are not as common. In place of these guttural sounds, English has a range of other consonants and consonant clusters, which can pose a challenge for Hebrew speakers. For example, the th sound in English doesn't exist in Hebrew. A useful trick to master this is to place the tip of your tongue against the upper teeth and try to blow air gently around it. It might take some practice, but over time, you'll be able to create the th sound more naturally. And remember, practice makes perfect. Try incorporating more English words with these difficult consonants into your daily vocabulary. We've come to the end of our session today, but remember, these are not overnight fixes. Learning to shift your stress patterns and tackling unfamiliar consonant sounds can take time. So, patience, practice, and consistency are your best friends on this journey. I hope this video has shed some light on the unique pronunciation challenges that Hebrew speakers face while learning English. So, keep practicing and remember to enjoy the process. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning,